71%. 71% of Americans have been negatively affected by posts, comments, and pictures on social media. And to be honest, for far too long we have allowed the attractiveness of social media to cause us to ignore the repercussions of our actions, desensitize ourselves, and influence our logic. So today, let's kill the negativity involved with social media. A moment of silence, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the acute social media outbreak has erupted. Popular platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok have now become breeding grounds for negativity. Like it or not, these once user-friendly platforms have led to the spike in defamation of character, cyber crimes, and the spread of fake news. These things have now become a norm. And us, yes us, we have become agents of chaos. Let's help each other out and lower that 71%. Winston Churchill once said, a lie gets halfway around the world before the truth can put on its pants. With that in mind, great attention must be placed on defamation. Defaming characters doesn't sound so bad when you're thinking about the anger attached to it. But when you consider 70% of employers screening your social media to decide if they're going to hire you, you might think twice about slamming someone's character. Additionally, legal charges can result from libel. Take for example, a case in Europe where a patient thought the treatment of the issue was slandering the credibility of the doctor on a social media platform. That defamed doctor then won $300,000 in a countersuit. Not only does the healthcare industry take a blow from defamation, but also small businesses, politicians, pastors, and the everyday show just like me and you. 5% of defamation victims can rationally handle the emotional distress due to slander and libel. So I ask, are you willing to pay the price for the sanity of the other 95%? And if that isn't bad enough, let's place the spotlight on cybercrime for a moment. Cybercrime ranges from hacking, which happens every 35 seconds, to data loss, which is predicted to exceed $150 million this year alone, to, bu to bullying, which is experienced by more than one out of every three young people. According to the OAS, Latin America and the Caribbean had a spike in this area. So if there was a spike here, chances are there was a spike here, here, and here. The Bahamas alone had 80% increase in cyber crimes in 2018. Moreover, research must, has shown that posting, sharing, and liking cyberbullying posts have led to mental and emotional abuse for so many, and in some cases, sad to say, teen suicide. Imagine if this was your child, or your niece, or your godchild being that victim. This rise of cyber crimes has led to the implementation of fines and imprisonment. So I ask, what is the cost of your freedom? Our last play, fake news. The media has taken full control of our lives and in some cases we consume ourselves with it. Social bots through ads and phony websites have played their role in interfering with politics, creating hostility and manipulating us. Research conducted after the 2016 U.S. presidential election revealed that 14% of Americans use social media as their primary source of information. And the average American admitted to actually believing these stories. Audience, all of this ignites panic, stress, and anxiety. Credibility should be the order of the day. So I ask, what is the cost of your sanity? You see why social media can resemble a virus? We are the hosts of this virus. We spread it every time we click, like, or share. Today, I urge you to be agents of change. All you have to do is be the vaccine and prevent this outbreak. Next time you're on social media, try spreading awareness instead of destruction, good deeds and positive humor instead of bullying, and logic and knowledge instead of fake news. Don't let the negative effects of social media cause you to have an outbreak. You are the cure. Thank you.